Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Makeup Monday video. So for today's Makeup Monday video, we are trying out the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation and the Infallible Full Wear more than concealer from L'Oreal. So we're trying out both of these new L'Oreal products and uh, definitely the newest to the infallible line. So we had to try it out to see what all the rave was about. So before we jump into the video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Turn on your notifications. That way you will be notified every single time I upload, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. If you guys want to see my thoughts, my review, demo swatches, and everything on these new L'Oreal products, then just keep watching. Thanks, guys. I'm going to go ahead and start out with the foundation. I already have my face primed. I use the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Primer. So we're going to go ahead and start with the foundation. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. So I have mine in the shade Toffee. This foundation comes in 30 different shades. It claims to be a 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Medium to full coverage and it's buildable coverage. So we're going to try it out all of that today. This is just the packaging here. It comes with just this red top here on the top. And it does come with a pump here on the side i did pump out a little bit on the back of my hand just to see if it would be a good match so we're just going to pump out a little bit on the back of my hand there and then it has like a fragrance smell to it just a little bit it's not like an overpowering fragrance we actually yeah, just a little fragrance. I was trying to see if it was my beauty, my sponge, or if it was my that foundation. And I think the foundation itself does have a little fragrance, just a little bit. I really really like the coverage of this foundation like this is just one layer of the foundation as you guys can see it covered up my scar it covered up my dark spots on my face like it looks really really good on the skin I like the fact that it's very very lightweight I'm gonna pump it out just a little bit so you guys can see it is kind of like a watery texture as you guys can see how it's like light and watery so because it is such a watery texture it is easy to blend in but it does have a really really nice coverage to it again it is claiming to be a medium to full coverage foundation but I like this one layer of the foundation here I think just one layer looks really really good on the skin and it looks very skin like it doesn't look heavy it doesn't feel heavy or cakey or anything like that so I'm really, really liking this so we're gonna go ahead and apply the concealer and then we're gonna see how everything actually plays out but so far so good with this foundation the L'Oreal infallible full wear more than concealer and I'm actually excited to try this out because a lot of people have been raving about this concealer. Alright, so this concealer claims to be waterproof. It does come in 25 different shades. I have mine in the shade... What shade did I get this in? Oh, caramel. I have mine in 400 caramel and I think it's going to be a pretty good match, I hope. So you can get a shade to contour with, to highlight with, to whatever with, to correct with, however you want to do it. You can't get a shade for that. Um, it does claim to have a matte finish and it also claims to also be able to cover up dark circles and dark spots and conceal. Uh, but again, as well as correct and highlight as well. So, we're going to um, test out just the concealing part today. This is just what the packaging looks like here. Kind of reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape packaging. It's like chunky and thick like that. And then it does have a sticker on it. Again, I did open this already. And it does have that big applicator, kind of like the Tarte Shape Tape one as well. So. I 
like it. I do. It does remind me a lot of the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know. It could just be me, but it does remind me a lot of it. Just the packaging and just how it blends in and the thickness of it. Like the consistency of the concealer itself is very thick. It's easy to blend in, but it does have like that thick consistency to it. So, I mean, I like that. It does give me like a full coverage. I'm not really seeing matte at the moment. It does claim to be like a matte finish, but I don't really see like where it's matte at. Because as you guys probably can even tell on camera, it does look kind of shiny. Um, but it doesn't bother me because I'm going to set it anyway. But as far as the coverage, it looks really, really good. And I like it. It was easy to blend in. I'm not experiencing any creasing right now, but I am going to go ahead and set this. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we'll We'll come back and give you guys the final look and final thoughts on everything right, guys so i have on the rest of my makeup and i still like the foundation however <laughs> the concealer i still like the concealer i still like everything about it i just feel like i won't use such a matte powder when setting it because even though it did still look shiny after i put it on it is definitely very matte. Just kind of keep that in mind when you do that. But as far as the rest of the foundation, so far so good. I do like it. I still like the foundation. I think it still looks really, really good on the skin. And I also think that the, like, as far as, like, transferring and being sticky and all that kind of stuff, I think we're good to go as far as that. I don't think it transfers onto anything or much of anything. I'm going to do a tissue test just to be on the safe side. But I don't think yeah we're good to go we're good to go i didn't think it transferred onto anything like that and i didn't set anywhere else other than where i put the concealer so i like it a lot and i can definitely see myself wearing this foundation again again it's very very lightweight it is like watery like a watery consistency so it's easy to blend in and it's very light on the skin and it is medium to full coverage but honestly and it's buildable coverage but honestly i wouldn't even go in with a second layer I feel like the first layer was perfect for me. So I definitely would recommend this foundation. I got mine off on Amazon for about $11.99. But they are in Walmart for like $11 as well. So you can go to Walmart and pick them up. Uh, as far as the concealer, I got, again, I got mine off on Amazon for about $10.99. And, um, but you can get these from Walmart as well for about $10.97. So after coupons, definitely use your coupons, guys. You know, I always recommend using your coupons. But after coupons, you'll be paying a little under $20 for them. So I highly recommend trying out both of these because I do like both of these. And I definitely can see myself wearing them again. I just wouldn't use the same setting powder next time when I do it. But all in all, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good for it to be a drugstore foundation. So yes i think that is about it let me know if you guys have tried out this foundation or concealer let me know you guys thoughts on it what do you think about it are you loving it are you liking it how do you feel about it do you hate it i don't know let me know in the comment below and yes i think that is about it be sure to leave a comment below with the hashtag k babes if you want to get a shout out in my next video and yeah i think that is about it be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel for more videos turn on your notifications if you haven't done so already and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye guys